I had your job. I was good at it. It was simpler then. It's fun to play a character 30 years later. I'm used to trying on old clothes. You know, happily, they still fit. Deckard is a significant person of interest in my character's case, and so he has to find him to get some answers. He's been hiding out. He was valuable to be brought in because he knew things that should not be known. But also, he was charged with the protection of the secrets that he had, and so he made himself absent. I just have some questions. What questions? When Deckard meets Kay, there's an echo in this kid of himself, and he doesn't want anything to do with it, but at the same time, he misses himself. You are a wonder to me, Mr. Deckard. I know what's real. You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. Neander Wallace is someone who's willed himself to power and has, through really hard work and rigorous study, made himself who he is in the world of Blade Runner. A child can count to nine on fingers. We should own the stars. The way Wallace talks and the way he looks at the world and views the world as everything can be made. Before we even know what we are, if you lose it, He's a genius, he's uh, a bit of a madman, which you have to be, but I, I don't think that bad a guy. You love her, and all it cost you was everything. What was a day. Hmm. Joy is designed to please every person's fantasy. You look lonely. It's a fantasy, she can be whatever we want her to be. Let's dance. Everything that Joy says and does is for some sense of normalcy. I'm so happy when I'm with you. Kay is asking her to be like a real human. That's what he needs. And she knows she can offer more. If anything happens, you're gone. I want this. I'm coming with you. She's smart. I always knew you were special. Sexy and strong. You love her, and all it cost you was everything. Okay. It is my job to keep order. Joshi is technically Kay's boss, but really she has an ownership over him. What you saw didn't happen. Yes, ma'am. Attaboy. Robin was somehow able to add a, an element of compassion to the character that's very unsympathetic. Am I the only one that can see the sunrise here? The world is built on a wall. It separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall, you bought a wall. Or a slaughter. I'm here for Mr. Wallace. I'm love. He named you. Must be special. The thing that love focuses on is being the best for Wallace, being his right hand. Love is loyalty personified. Inside of it, she's a little girl. She doesn't understand about the world. They didn't construct those emotions in her memory. Where is he? It's a nightmarish, interesting, and complicated dynamic with them. Where are we going? Home. She kills people, and she doesn't really care about it. I do hope you're satisfied with our product. It's Kay's job to go and put an end to that. Fire. 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 In the casino fight, you gotta remember that Harrison's character, Deckard, has been in hiding for 30-something years. Cut. Great, 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 great. He's tracked down by the character that Ryan plays. There's misunderstanding at first, and then there is action. You're a cop. They do a nice fight through this casino with glitching, you know, holograms going off and dancing girls and Elvis singing in the background. I mean, it's just so incongruous that it works. We came up with Ryan should let Deckard just beat the tar out of him. Never throw a punch, 
not hurt him to prove, hey, I'm not here to kill you. You're building that little bit of trust. Action! <laughs> Look, I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. Okay. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> just pre anticipate that. Sorry. Uh. Harrison, man, you're talking about a legend. He's like an old stunt man. He just goes for it. I mean, here's a guy, 74 years old, hitting the ground in water all night long, and he, he was doing it. I mean, he's in there. He's let's go. Cut it, save it, cut it. Hey, don't close out, stay with me as I have more sci fi for you. Did you know that Stanley Kubrick destroyed almost all of his props and sets from 2001 A Space Odyssey because he didn't want them to be used in any lesser science fiction films? The spacesuit costumes in Ridley Scott's Alien were so poorly ventilated that the cast was passing out from CO2 inhalation. And Terminator 2 Judgment Day is the only sequel in the history of Hollywood to date to win an Academy Award when its prequel was not even nominated. What's your favorite sci-fi film? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye!